Today we're going to show you how to dry brush yourself. It's something that's really good for you and it also makes you look really pretty. Now keep in mind this is something that you would do right before you take a shower. So you would be naked but for the sake of TV we're going to do this completely clothed. Check out all these how-to pins on dry brushing your skin. People on Pinterest claim it's good for you. It has so many different health benefits to it and beauty benefits as well. Massage therapist Esmeralda Guevara encourages her clients to dry brush. All you need is a dry brush. Look for one with natural fibers. And there are several ones on the market. Um, I prefer one with a handle just because of the technique that you have to use. You have to get to different areas, so you want a little bit of an extension. Some people like to have the longer ones that you've seen at the store that have like the really long handle to it, just so that they can do a little bit more on the back. Let's get going. You start at your feet. You brush upwards towards your heart. The idea is to stimulate circulation, detox your lymphatic system, and slough off dead skin cells. It's always the same, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, and then once you get to the gluteal area, you can do kind of like circular strokes. Um, again, the skin will get red and a little bit agitated or pink, um, but that's a good thing because you know you're stimulating the circulatory system. And then once you're done there, you can obviously come up here. You can do a lot of circulatory along the belly area and then always afterwards coming up towards the heart. Move out to the hands and you can do the hands both on top and on bottom and then coming in. Um, all of your lymph nodes are basically in a lot of the creases of your body. Um, so everything stimulates and goes toward the heart. You can do very lightly on the neck down and towards the heart. And of course, don't forget your back. In South Tampa, I'm Gail Guayardo, News Channel 8.